Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and today I'm going to go over a question I've got a few times recently, which is how do you print pricing labels from an Excel worksheet where you have all of your items that are for sale, um, whether you're selling them in a boutique or um, a craft fair or something. So let me show you which template we're working from. I have the consignment tracking for stores template and this is where uh, it has several pages but one of the pages is listing out all the inventory the store has the product codes the consigner the items belong to and uh, the consigners payout and the starting price of each item so this is the page that we're going to be linking to uh, to be able to print the price tags on and uh, there's also a few other pages here to track when the items have sold, uh, how much is due, a nice sales summary, and the consigner, each consigner's information. So, okay, so going back, you'll want to have um, your information entered in the inventory details and make sure that you click save. And then if you get the version that comes with the uh, printing labels template, so you can see how it looks from the beginning. So you'll save um, both the Excel template and the Word document to your computer and, um, and then remember where you saved it to and go back and open it up. The Word document is actually where you'll be printing the labels from. So when you go to open it up, it's going to give you this message, select from... Uh, inventory details and the data from your database will be placed in this document. Do you want to continue? And click yes because I've already set it up so that it links to pull in information from the Excel template. So you'll see it looks kind of funky. It just has these, uh, these are actually the column header names from the worksheet. So if you go to mailings, and preview results then it's going to pull in the information that you have entered in the worksheet but before you get very far with doing this I want you to double check that you have the right uh, the right printing labels so if you go to mailings and start mail merge labels you'll see that I have the Avery US letter uh, label brand and 5159 address labels is what I have it selected at. If you need to change one of these to a different label, it's going to give you this message. In order to apply the label options, we must delete the current contents and any unsaved changes will be lost. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel and I'll show you what to do at the um at the end of this, if you need to reset the template to switch your label, if you're using the label uh, that it's already set for, then if you want to make any tweaks or changes, like if I want to add a space right here, you add it to the top first, and then you go to mailings and update labels, and then add that little space into um, everything else. And if you want to add something like consigner name to it, you would go to mailings, insert merge field, and you could add consigner name. And it's you're going to make any changes that you want to the first label here. And then if you like those changes, then you update labels for the rest. I don't really need the consigner name in there, so I'm going to click undo. Uh, you can also insert a picture if you want to add your store logo or any any other type of branding to the price tags so I just have a random arrow to add in here but uh, to make it easier click on it right click on the image go to wrap text in square and that's gonna make it easier to move it around so we want it over here and then once you get it how you want on that first label then just go to mailings, update labels, and it adds the image to everything. And if you're good to go, you have the right printing labels, I would go ahead and, uh, well, save it as a different uh, file so you don't save over the template so you can go back whenever new inventory is added. So just save as, browse, maybe attach the date to it, and then save it. So 
save it, then try printing it out on a regular sheet of paper, make sure everything looks good and lines up to the, the actual printing label that you have. And when it looks good to go, then print it on your, um, then get your printing labels into the printer so you can print those correctly. And I'm just going back to if you do need to switch the label, just go to mailings, start mail merge labels. And so what will happen is address labels, we'll just go with this. 8987, click OK, click OK, and it's going to clear out everything, but don't get too concerned because there's still, uh, there's still the label boxes, okay? So all we have to do in the top is come back here to mailings, insert merge field. It's still linking to the Excel file. We just need to add in the information back. So we have the mer merchandise space dash space mailings let's add the product code looks good mailings and add in starting price uh, then from here that looks good so we're going to do update labels and it adds everything back this printing label has it set for three columns instead of two and uh, we need to add in the dollar sign that way no one gets confused and so you just add it in the first label and then come back and update labels so now you're good to go go ahead and save this as a template first maybe x out of the preview mode save this as a template so that when you're adding new inventory you can come back to this okay then when you want to print it just do uh, the preview results and save this as a separate file and print it out. That way you can also keep track of it that way. And I hope this helps. And again, if you're interested in the consignment tracking for stores template, head on over to timesavingtemplates.com. I have a lot of different inventory tracking templates for, and I'll post a link to those specific templates in the comment section of this too. But um, thanks again for watching, and until next time, remember that I'm here to help you streamline your spreadsheets and save time when it comes to getting organized. Thanks.